We are so pleased to welcome on set today Representative Kathleen Lenatra, who is the state rep for the 12th District of Plymouth, which includes a whole bunch of parts of towns. It does. You, um, you include um, Dux, a part of Duxbury, Halifax, mm -hmm. Kingston, Plymouth, Plimpton, and Middleborough. Yes, yes. Lots of geographic Lots area. Lots of geographic, and very different. It's very different. And yes. you've been a state rep for how long? No, a little over nine months. A little over nine months. Wow, that yeah. flew. Yeah, and it's only a two-year term for all state reps. It is a two-year term. Which means you have to start running, running again, again, campaigning um, again yeah, after the new year. Which I've always thought was a little nuts that anybody in any position has a two-year term, but that's just me. I agree. Um, I so agree. let's talk a little bit about you personally. Okay. Uh, where do you live? Family, kids? Sure. I live in Kingston. I've been there for about 20 years. I'm married to a wonderful man, Michael, yep. who is actually a police officer in Kingston, okay. and we have the canine dog, so he's a canine officer, so we have... The canine um, dog lives with you? He does, oh, cool. valet, and yeah. um, he's our new one. Our first, our first, I keep saying our, it's really his, but yep. it's like a family dog as sure. well. Uh, Oliver was the first canine dog, I believe, in Kingston, yep. uh, retired and unfortunately passed away in April. It was oh. very sad. Yeah. And now we have valet. Okay. And he is just like a puppy and yeah. so much fun. Um, and I have four children. So wow. I have three sons yep. and a daughter. Yep. My oldest son is 25 and my youngest son is 12. So in that order, I have a son that's in the service. He's mm -hmm. in the Army. His name's Nick. He's in Germany right now and he's missed Terribly, terribly missed, like terribly yeah. missed. So if the phone rings and it's him, I have to answer. <laughs> um, I get it. And then we have our own little dog, Bella. Mm -hmm. and, yeah. So yeah. we've been there about 20 years. Yeah. Okay, great. Now, what, what in your background has prepared you for being, um, you were a selectman, you were, you were yes. on a lot of different boards and committees, mm -hmm. and now you're, you're a state rep. Mm -hmm. Is there any job you've had or, or avocation or, or hobby that has, has led you to have some skill sets that you found transferable to your position as a state rep? I think all of those positions as a selectman and rec commissioner and affordable housing trust have helped, um, the municipality part has helped, mm -hmm. but years ago, um, I owned a bridal shop for oh. 10 years. It was Lillian's Fashions and Bridal and it was in Hanover at Merchants Row, if anyone remembers. And honestly, I think that really prepared me for life. Uh -huh. I mean, it is... <laughs> it must be stressful. It was um, joyful. Yeah. It was stressful. Yeah. It was during a time that there was a UPS strike. Um, you are with someone during one of the most stressful, stressful and joyful Events of their Events life. of their life. Yeah. Um, yeah. So it's a roller coaster ride, yeah. and you have to kind of keep the even keel and yeah. keep them calm and yeah. listen to them, and um, it's really listening. So I think that prepared me a lot for the different types of people that I meet. Yeah. Um, all my constituents, mm -hmm. and also my real estate broker. I was going to so, say that. Now talk about the same type of a, a life changing yes. event: getting married and buying a house. Yes. Or selling I, a house. Or selling a house. Yeah. Again, we, if those of who have purchased homes or sold homes know that can be a roller coaster as well. Sure. Um, and again, it's dealing with people during traumatic times, yeah. joyful times, yeah. um, stressful times. And I would think you have to keep up on an awful lot of changing laws, uh, regulations, and everything with the mortgages. You and do. That you must do. be a daily, uh, things seem to change all the time in that field. They do seem to change daily all the time. Um, so you keep up with your credits. Yeah. You take credits. You take 12 classes a year. Yeah. Um, and you do that, so fitting that in and learning yeah. new things. Yeah. I think that's prepared me actually quite well. To be a state rep. I yeah. do. Well, that's I wonderful. Do. Yeah. You, you have both, both of your jobs. Rep. Life and experience. It, yeah, and, it, and it's, it's mostly, and you're right, it's, it's being able to assess a situation and mm -hmm. calmly respond mm -hmm. and listen to both sides of yes. whatever argument it is yes. um, and be able to, to help negotiate and help uh, foster something and, and, and make uh, an end, uh, the end of the outcome um, as, as best as you can for all parties involved. Right. And it's, right. a lot of it is just bringing people together. Exactly. It's bringing, pe yeah, bringing yeah. people together. Yeah. But, you know, you have to keep an open mind, too. Absolutely. You have to yep. keep an open mind. Yep. We don't know everything. And we don't no. know what we don't know. No. And you have to check that ego at the door. Yeah. You know, you really... Yep. Now, I as far as being um, um, a state rep, I looked you up just, just to find out what boards, um, what uh, committees you're on mm -hmm. and what kind of bills that you've helped co-sponsor. And you told me before we went on the air that there's 6,000 bills? Bills that are filed. So, honestly, that 6, was news <laughs> to me. <laughs> I was a little overwhelmed by the bill filing process. Um, I filed some great bills and I'm very proud of that. Hopefully we can discuss. Sure. But the bills, 6,000 bills, you can't possibly know everything that's filed. And I would get emails from constituents 
Um, one in particular was a football bill that was filed, um, and the bill was to, re I'm trying to, I, excuse the wording, it, it may not be the way it was worded, yep. but the gist of it was that boys or girls, girls as well yep. should not play football until they're 12 years, contact football until, until they're, they're 12, 12 years, years old. old. I remember reading about that, yeah. And I was unaware of that bill, okay. and um, we're a sports family. I have a yep. daughter that's a competitive gymnast. I have yep. children that have all played sports. My husband's on the Kingston Youth Sports Organization, and that's who was emailing me. And they were angry yeah. about this bill, and I had never heard, heard of it. Of it. Yeah. I had never heard yeah. of it. Um, so things like that happen, so you really have to keep an open mind. I'm like, my first reaction was like, why would they be in that? Football's been around for years. Yeah. That's the most insane thing I've ever heard. Right, right. And then you get here the other side. Mm -hmm. You know, So you have to keep an open mind on that. Yeah. Um, I don't believe that's gone to hearing. I mm -hmm. haven't really followed it that okay. much since then. But things like that happen every day. Sure. A bill will, somebody will email me about a bill that I'll have to really research. Because you don't really research because I don't yeah. know. I don't now, know. The bills that you have um, sponsored or mm -hmm. co-sponsored, mm -hmm. let's talk about a couple of the ones that you're, you're, you really want to talk about today. One of it is the Boater Safety Education Bill. Yes. Which is, go ahead. So the Boater Safety Education Bill is a bill that I filed. It was a refile from my previous, my predecessor. Um, and a lot of people don't know this, but in many states, in order to pilot a boat, you need to take a boater safety course mm -hmm. and have a certificate. That does not apply in Massachusetts. So you could go to the boat show, mm -hmm. buy a 40-foot boat, mm -hmm. put it in the water, mm -hmm. and sail away. <laughs> or motor away. Or motor away. And I, I am a boater. Mm -hmm. I, was a, I grew up a boater. Um, and I've been on the water a lot this summer. Yeah. Well, not as much as I'd like to be, but I've been on the water. And it is crazy out there. Yeah. And it's scary. Yeah. And there were so many accidents this year yeah. with people that just don't know. They don't know the rules of the they road. They don't know the rules of the road. No. Like you had said, red by return. Yeah. You, know, you that's, keep the that's right one buoy thing. on your... Yeah. Um, <laughs> but the depth finder, the GPS, right. the navigation, yeah. um, just what to have in your boat for safety, yeah. the stories that I heard were really horrifying. Right. So this bill would require someone to take a boater safety course before they were out to pilot a boat. Now, is this any size boat? I mean, uh, it's any size boat. It is a rowboat, um, and it's it's still we're still working on it. A motorboat, yeah. um, it, in watercraft jet skis. Oh right, you know, right. there's a yeah. lot of jet oh, ski accidents, yeah. Yeah. especially this year on the ponds. Yep. Um, so I, it's had a lot of response, a lot of support. I've had support from uh, many harbor masters across Massachusetts, mm -hmm. as well as the environmental police. Mm -hmm. Uh, the chair of the committee, Smitty Pignatelli, has been wonderful. Mm -hmm. We've been working with legal, rewriting some things. Yeah. So I'm really, really hopeful that this will pass. Okay. Are there year. any other bills that you currently have out there that you're um, really passionate about that you want to talk about? Well, th this one I'm very... Oh, you made a lift. I, 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 I copied some okay. of the ones that you've, you've sponsored. There's a few. So a few that I've actually co um, joint filed. One is the Mass Made program, and that's mm -hmm. with Rep Cutler. That's Mass which is Made. Made in Massachusetts. Made in Massachusetts. Massachusetts. Okay. So that's a program that will connect and support businesses that are local to everybody to help consumers to buy local, which yep. is great. Um, I've also joined, sponsored one with Matt Miratori. We all work together in the yes. South Shore, which is Which is fantastic. really great. Which is really great. Um, and that was for the Legion, the specific one in Plymouth, where they had slot machines, but and they were legal, and is they were it, paying their the taxes. American Legion? Yeah. Okay, yep. And they had slot machines, and they were legal at one time, and they were paying their taxes on yep. them. And with the funds from that, they were able to fund their scholarship program. For veterans. For veterans. Yeah, okay. And many other things. Yep. So that was taken away from them. So now By the Gaming Commission? The Gaming okay. Commission. So yep. now that's been taken away. So this would enable the legions to have, to have that, to back fund again. their programs, okay. to fund that back okay. again. Yep. Um, let's now, see. do people, do constituents come to you and say, I want you to create a bill? I mean, how does that work? They do. They do. So the voter safety bill actually came from an accident that happened in Kingston. Okay. Um, and the David Hansen Act. And that that's, was a gentleman that went out in a boat and they didn't, and the boat took on water and they didn't know what to do. Um, and he had lost his life. So oh. very sad. A lot of them are very sad. Yeah, I have tragic. another one that I filed that's the James Ward Act, and this young man had lost his life. He was out with his dad um, and his other brother on an ATV, yep. and it was a hit and run. So a person came around and hit him and said they were going back to get help, and they didn't get help. They went back to the party they were at. Oh. So that's to increase the consequences there. The um, Okay. The penalties for that. That so if you don't you, help. You need, if you don't help, yes. you know, it's very, so a lot of them come to me 
resulting from tragedy. Yeah. Um, so it's very emotional. Sure. It's very emotional. Sure. You, you get very close to these families. Sure. Uh, and then the Mass Made, you know, Josh brought that up. I think that's yeah. such a great yeah, program. That is, that so some of them idea. are great programs. Yep. Some of them, like I think, the voter safety is like a no-brainer. Yeah. Like a lot of people don't even realize that we don't have that. Yeah. Um, the needle stick. So there's one with the needle stick this for first really responder. Me. So it's also a, a refile. Um, it's been filed before by Rep Calter, former Rep Calter, and it it became about that a first responder was stuck by a needle. Yep. And they started the medication while they were waiting for the test, the HIV test. Yep. They started the medication. Well, the medication made him very sick. Yeah. But it wasn't covered. Like he had to take sick days, so it wasn't covered by. Oh, okay. So the first responder got sick taking the medication yes. to prevent him from yes. possibly yes. getting some kind of a so infection. So it's not covered oh, which by is, disability. Which you or think that's. You would think it would be. Because that's part of his job and that's a hazard exactly. of his job. Exactly. Okay. Exactly. So some of, some of the bills some of them you kind of like, yeah, it's a head scratcher. Why was why isn't this covered? You do. Anyway? But okay. there's a reason and yep. sometimes you need to find out what the opposition is in that and sure. the reason that it is. Absolutely. Um, and you're, you're also on committees. Now, how do, how do you get put on committees? You put in a request to be on the committees. I put in a request to be on um, the Economic Development okay. Committee and Elder Affairs, and then I actually put in for mental health as well. And But I was fortunate enough to be only one of two freshmen on the Economic Development Committee, okay. which is a fantastic committee. Yep. And we're working on sports betting right now. Oh, okay. Which is another thing that is controversial. Absolutely, it so is. So we've been yep. in hearings for days. Um, I've also was in Gloucester recently at a, at a hearing and the lobstermen were there and they were speaking about the tariffs, uh -huh. which really has affected their Them. business. Yes. Yeah. Their business yep. is down 35%. Yep. Mm -hmm. um, and what's happening is Canada is buying the lobsters here mm -hmm. in Massachusetts yep. and in Maine yep. and they're selling to China. Right, instead of us. Instead of us. Yeah. So there is a 7% where we're 42%. Where so that's really yeah, that's hitting that them. community. Yep. Yep. Really hurting so you that have community. So you have to keep up with not the, not just local, but mm. things on a national scale and you how do. they affect yes. the local. Yes. Let me ask you a couple things about um, being being a rep. What what do you find the most rewarding, and what do you find the most challenging about being a state rep? Rewarding so much. That's an easy thing. Uh, the most rewarding part of our day, and I will also, I'm speaking for my legislative aide, Chris Jean, as well, is when you get a phone call and someone is in dire straits yeah. and they think there, there's no hope and you change their life. Yep, you're able to help. You're able to help yeah. and you really change their life at mm -hmm. that moment. Yep. And that can just keeps you going. Yep. It keeps you going from having the worst day and then someone calls and you're able to help. So that is the most rewarding yeah. thing yep. of our job, that we're able to make a difference in people's lives. Yep. And we do get calls. A lot A lot of it has to do with housing, yep. seniors and housing, which is really sad. Um, That's what we're going to do another show oh, on that. Oh, yeah. love to be involved yeah. in that. Yeah. Um, challenging is trying to be everywhere at once. As you said, Julie, I have six towns, and I would yeah. love to give every town 100% of my attention. There's no way. And, there's and you must be out every night. I mean, there's every events. night, every day, every day, every night, every day, every night. Um, it's enjoyable. Yes, it's enjoyable. Yeah. I just wish there was. I could clone myself and yeah. be more of me because there's two of us, and we try to divide and conquer, and then we meet at the end of the day if we're not together, and we go over what happened in the day and yeah. who we've met, who we can help, yeah. what situations are out there that we didn't know about, mm -hmm. um, the challenges through our communities. Sure. We stay in touch with all the selectmen in each town yep, too, which, which is, great. is fantastic. Yep. They're a great resource to us. Um, but that's the most challenging part. There's sure. not enough time, time in the day. No, in the day, absolutely not. Well, thank you so much. We will have you back again. Oh, I would love um, to. Probably six months from now to sure. see where, where we are yes. and what's going on, because things change all the time. They do. Yeah. They okay, do. well, thank you so much, Kathleen. Thank Monaca. you. And we've enjoyed having the um, state rep from the 12th district, uh, Kathleen Lenatra. Thank you for joining us on PCN.